Well, how does it Linux? Joining me, Mr. Tian and Pedro Mateus, Pedro Spooky Mateus, with his Hello. penguins behind him. But, as always, it must face the chairquisition, which I couldn't get sized up right in time. One chair means that it's crap. Two chairs means that you... All right, you did an all right job. It kind of runs three chairs. You probably want to check it out. Four chairs, just shut up. Don't listen to us. Go buy it and enjoy it. Rated on the categories of Doom, mixed with the working, shiny and sounds, controls, and fun. So, gentlemen, let's uh, rock out with our Goku's out, Goku's out. Uh, let's start this off empty. What are you running this business on, man? All right, we are on the uh, AMD Ryzen 1700X, and uh, GPU is a GTX 780 Ti. It actually ran pretty nicely, considering <clears throat> it's only 1080p scaled up to UHD, and uh, there's a bit of micro stuttering. Oh Even man, that, that's a, a bit. I think, all right, a, think, bit. a bit. <laughs> right, we all experienced this. I'm on the Ryzen seven, not the uh, Ryzen seventeen hundred, not the seventeen hundred X. Sixteen gigajoules RAM with a nine eighty. Same micro stuttering that got progressively worse the more detailed the game got. Pedro. Yeah, uh, over here I'm on the FX 8370E, still an AMD processor, but uh, much older, uh, with the 1080. I don't think I ever saw it drop below 59 FERPs, nope. but this is the perfect example of a game where frame pacing is very important, because you can have uh, a frame rate above 60, still make a game feel slightly herky-jerky and this is it uh mm -hmm. it's uh it's actually really noticeable and i think it's loading something in the background because admittedly it does have like big open worlds each of the islands are very big so i guess it is loading something in the background yeah. there and that's what's causing it i mean it could uh a couple other issues I noticed no support for UHD 3840 by 2160 is just some bullshit that's in your imagination. It's not there. I didn't see it again with the frame jumping. And like I said, part of the chair QA position, baby, uh, is to warn you about shit like this. This is a legit problem. This should be on the front page. I personally would not have released the game. Doesn't just affect Linux. You go in their forums. You oh, yeah. go, okay, this is a thing. It's like pinned at the top and their bullshit solution to fix it is to drag your OpenGL settings all the way up to high performance, which is, I'm sorry, don't don't let your um, community manager say technical decisions like that because... No, that's just bad. So can we all agree that uh, not a, it made with a working and it worked all right, and I think we could have probably given it a clear bill of health at four chairs if it wasn't for that massive herky-jerk. And it's still playable, people, right? Oh, it is. Absolutely. Yeah. And very it, it is the herky jerky and the fact that the when I started the game, at least for me, the animations, the walking animations and the attack animations were broken. So I just had my character sliding around until I restarted the game. Uh, so also yeah. a bug. OK, that's something we were talking about in our pre pre super shows. And it's like, yeah, yeah. everything issue you run into this game, just go to their forums. It's it's listed. there. It's so. already there. They know yep. <laughs> they, they need to do a little bit of love. But yeah, for makes with the working, we're going to be able to throw that a solid three moving three chairs all across the board. A little bit more of a subjective category. That's our shiny and sounds. I'm just going to say, you know, I actually dug the soundtrack for this. It is like some hip hop Japanese fusion with a little extra record scratching going on in there. Kind of dug it. I, I wasn't exactly bopping out to it, but I didn't mind it at all, which is a nice change. And most importantly, this thing's hella pretty. I mean, very well yes. animated. W w tell me. D all right. W what did you think? Like when you had your establishing shot and it opened and we're not going to give away any spoilers, but you start off like yeah. at the top of a hill. It's like, uh, all right, then you move your yeah, character. It looks all sketched and everything. Yeah, yeah, right, mm -hmm. and they're like jumping around. And then you move your character, and you're just like, holy shit, this, that's oh, beautiful. That, that is very, very Yeah, well they've done. managed to make an isometric game that looks very, very good. And I guess if I had to find something that I didn't enjoy when it comes to the aesthetics, 
It's well, it goes back to my old spiel about aesthetics serving only to complement the mechanics. More on that later. Uh, and we've had many examples right here on the Chairquisition of games which fall on both sides of that. You have, like, say, Aragami, which takes uh, aesthetics uh, as the most important thing and the mechanics fail for it. And then on the other side, you have something like, I don't know, Steven Sausage Roll. Mm -hmm. That's probably where, where it favors mechanics. The only game on Linux made out of sausage and spite. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, it favors oh, mechanics for all the way, $20. and the aesthetics aren't really all that great. Gokan's biggest failure in this department specifically is how the visual feedback for combat is pretty much non-existent because unless you're paying attention to your health bar, you can't really tell just how much damage you've taken. And or even a if game you've been like hit this, at all. Yeah, in a game like this, it looks really... Well, it doesn't look like anything. It just doesn't work properly, and that's really, really annoying. Um, I guess the only other thing is the slightly jaunty camera angle, because this is an isometric game. You can't really move the camera around. No, but it, it does have, definitely has that irritating thing. Of, you know everything's rendered in 3D, so you should be able to. Yeah, you really should be able to, and you really ought to be able to, but you that can't. Was, so. Hey, man, that, that was like one of the things with the Daisega, or Daisega, whatever the, you know, the Japanese. Disgaea. Disgaea, whatever the hell it's called. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you could at least rotate the camera, and they were able to do that on the PS2, so yes. don't, don't tell me this is a technical impossibility. But yeah, at this with this game specifically with Goken, it's really hard to predict whether or not your the the swings of your swords are going to connect because of that jaunty camera angle. That's the it, other complaint I have. It's also really hard to tell if the bad guys are going to hit you or not because you can move two pixels to the side mm -hmm. and they'll mm -hmm. miss you. No, and the, the the music is good. I I like the music. I did eventually turn it off and just go with the sound effects, but uh, the music is nice. The one area where this game fell down is when you go down to the beach in the very first area, mm -hmm. the transition effect between the sand and that's, the water is jarring. literally a transparency fade. Mm -hmm. And for a game that is so beautiful and then you run into such an ugly effect, it, it's a little bit jarring. Speaking uh, of if, jarring, that's something uh, with the soundtrack. I notice when you get to the first village, if you leave the village... There's no fade for that background because you have like oh, the danger no. on it. It, it just, just like boom, it, it just jumps well, right into that next. That's track. what I was about to say. Is this game seems like it could have used a little bit more polish, and it would have been a four chair. Oh game. yeah, absolutely. But they they have some little problems, and those little problems make it into a three chair game. All right, Very three much. chairs for shinies and sounds. Now we talk about the controls. Because, you know, something like this, you definitely want to play it with your controller organ and break that business out. You got a Steam controller. I did it with my X clone. What, what did you play with? I was on the Xbox 360 controller. All right. Mm -hmm. Same difference. Uh, Pedro, am I wrong? Correct me if I'm right. Uh, not fully rebindable controls. No, no, they don't. If you have a controller, the only uh, rebinding you can do is through Steam Big Picture Mode and you actually rebind the controller for this game specifically using the Steam Overlay. And kudos to Valve for that, but that doesn't really get this game any bonus points. Another thing that this game does is um, the default controller mapping has the A and B button functions reversed from what you usually expect. This isn't exactly new when it comes to Japanese video games, because anyone who's ever played uh, a game that they were probably supposed to play, which was, say, a Japanese import of a game based on an anime. Well, I mean, this game it, comes from Japan, but I mean, seriously, wh why maintain the fuckery? Did, is there not an option to at least <laughs> flip that bullshit? That there is. is. Uh, there is. Uh, if you go to the options menu, you can switch between two different controller types. And literally all it does is switch the A to B behavior. And it, uh, by default, it has B to confirm and A to go back. Which is completely that, no. backwards and insane. It is, yeah. but by, by the time I realized that that was even a legitimate option, I had taught myself how to play this game the way they wanted it to be played. And normally I would, you know, blow it away with like, 
minus two chairs on this mm-hmm. for not rebondable controls, but everything it's just fucking laid out outside of that bullshittery, which, yeah, all right, I'll give you a little bit of character for that. Outside of that, everything else, like the only other game that everything was like, boom, okay, everything makes sense, was like Victor Vran. Yeah. So everything here is where I would have fucking put it. Now, again, it's just my opinion, but I'm still going to ding it one chair on that. It's going to get a three for me, man. It's still workable. Now, uh, uh, one thing I will bring up, sometimes interacting with things like pressing the B button to interact. Going oh, you in, have to uh, be standing still. You got to be standing yeah. still, sometimes facing just to uh, hit the right just pixels in order for that prompt A to show up or B, uh, no pun intended, to damn work. <laughs> The other yeah, small no, for- complaint that I'll have is that you can walk around using the analog stick, but the minute you go into any menus, you better use that D-pad or your keyboard because it does not accept analog <laughs> stick inputs in nope. any of the menus. Mm. That's a, yeah, that's a me, very small uh, nitpick, but it I'm did actually, I, I would give this one four chairs on the controls because, yes, the default configuration is a bit stupid with A being what you expect B to be and B being what you expect A to be. Uh, but yeah, it gives you the option to just get it back to a sensible controller layout. And sure, you can't rebind it in-game. On the controller, you can rebind the regular um, if you're playing with a mouse and keyboard. This is one of those games that I would say, why? Uh, but yeah. Why would you Here, play this I on would a mouse and keyboard? Chairs. What's wrong with you? <laughs> You're talking to somebody who plays racing games with a. I do. I play Dirt Rally and um, Distance and Grid Auto Sport with the keyboard. Anyway, so you're going to walk away with three chairs total. If we're going to balance that out with controls. So pretty good. They're workable. Do keep in mind, not completely configurable. But considering this is coming out of a air quotes around quirky Japanese development studio. Yes. And built on Unity. One that, built so on we're Unity. doing okay. Yeah, yeah, this is the least of their bullshit. So mm-hmm. um, let's round this out, gentlemen. Uh, TN, what did you think? Did you have fun with it? I actually had a surprising amount of fun. Uh, I immediately went back to my glory days of Super Nintendo JRPG uh, Secret of Mana style geeking out, running around grinding, killing monsters. I was having a regular, lovely time till the game soft locked on me and I decided to put it down for a while. But uh, honestly, this is uh, this is a good game. I liked this game. I will be playing this game There's more. a lot of I fun I want to see where here. it goes. Yeah. Oh, they, yeah. they got the reward system right with the grinding stuff because it's like every time you get to the point, oh, here's a new sword or oh, here's some more ink to upgrade this. And mm-hmm. it does it it's paced very well pedro oh yes it is and it the way that they do like the progression of the swords when you update them it's very it feels very organic it isn't they very clearly wanted you to only be able to upgrade your swords at certain points and that's kind of how you can tell that the game has been done by Someone who knows what they're doing when they're developing a video well, game. It's and good. I mean, who's... All right, the progression, you get your you start with your basic sword, then you get the big ass yeah. broadsword, then they give you just a little fucky thing that's useless. The Kunai knives, yes. <laughs> and it really only good in uh, certain circumstances. It's, you can feel free to ignore the Kunai knives because at least as far as I've played, it they're completely pointless. But the way that the the light sword and the heavy sword work. It is, it feels very good to play with. And I guess going back to what I said in the Shiny and Sounds, um, I said that aesthetics should serve to complement game mechanics. And I've said that many times. And when it, to me specifically, video games live and die on their mechanics and mm-hmm. how you interact with those mechanics. Because that's the one thing that makes this particular medium different it's, from it's the say, game that's what the game is yeah it's, it's, it's a video game it's not a movie it's not a book it's not a graphic novel it's nothing like that it's a game so while some of the visual elements are lacking and 
others are outright nah, deceitful. Lacking or not, man, it's still a beautiful fucking game. Man. It is. Uh, uh, but the mechanics themselves, which is what I care about when it comes to a video game, are solid. I don't know, and, man. It depends on what day of week it is with you. It's like, oh, yeah. No, 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 no. I, I, I hate it. I have again. been doing my best to define exactly what it is I like about video games and... The devil's in the details. I don't so to know, speak. man. I'm digging this, man. It's like that JRPG game we got and Torchlight had a fucking baby. I dig the story. I think it's fucking interesting. Like I said, the, logical character, weapon progression. You got me interested, except for that third one. I don't know what the fuck you were thinking with that. Maybe there's a use. <laughs> the ink system. You get your tattoos. You get your buffs and all that yep. shit. The good thing about the buffs, man, one thing I really dug at the end of the day, take that shot, was you can kind of take them or leave them. If you just want to sit down and get fucking good, son... You could fuck this game up without using, you know, your rage oh, yeah. buffs or your fucking anti poisons and all that. You just got to be a goddamn ninja is what you got to be. Yeah. Boss yeah, battles, you got to admit, a bit on the fucking primitive side, man. You learn their patterns, you boop them out. I didn't really get curb stomped until I ran into question mark. Trust me, you'll run into maybe her, maybe him. I don't know. It doesn't really tell you, man, what I'd like to see in those boss battles. However... Is a bit more hit back because all you got right now, they move back just a tiny bit and they blink a tiny bit red, which doesn't always happen because it's a little buggy system. Sometimes you don't know if you're skull fucking them or not and they turn around one shot your ass and you're just all dead and shit going, where's the popcorn? Does it have issues? Absolutely, fucking lootly it does. But at the end of the day, again, this game's completely savable and I think maybe given a month or two, the developers getting their shit together, ironing out those little picks of nits, uh... We definitely got something that I could absolutely recommend picking up. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, going back, uh, uh, one of the things that this game does is it has, at least on the first island, I haven't played the second island all that much yet because I've been going back and getting everything on the first island. It's when you go back <laughs> that to poor earlier game. Of areas, course you are, you goddamn kleptomaniac. I am. I am a little bit, yes. <laughs> but the, what it does is it does the Metroidvania thing where it forces you to go back to the early, early areas if you want to go across the, the so you, whole map. you get the new skill and it mm -hmm. unlocks new areas. Yeah, and, and area you realize you just how much stronger you are now because you're going through that same area and you remember, oh, I everything. had a lot of issues with this particular Oh, hell yeah. When you're going here. back and you're like, you can just spite boop shit. And yeah, it's just like one hit and they're dead. Oh, yeah. That's good. I mean, that, that helps the player yourself. who's like, oh, shit. Feel uh, the fuck all you feel more powerful. Um... And again, with the story, you know, there's a lot of reading. They didn't bother trying to give you some really shit voice acting. Kudos to that. Oh, they Just, didn't give you shit voice acting, but they give you a lot of shit dialogue. Hey, <laughs> that man. was cringy at points. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I think the dialogue's borderline cringy, but it, it's not so bad that... It's not... A half, it's not Plus, like, you can uh, just mash and get right awful, through it. It's not but really... It's, it's bad. Yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to check out the story, because again, man, I mean, the story's like kind of interesting. I'm like, okay... But you well, do have to read the text, because they'll tell you what you have to do next. Oh, yeah. If you don't read yeah. that, you are lost. And you're just going to wander around until you stumble on your objective. So, I uh, think, um, put together, we're going to be able to give a solid three on this... A lot Easily. of threes going out. We don't normally get to do that because uh, mm -hmm. if we can throw out our actual chair acquisition, this thing gets a total of three. This is a, one of the rare. Not only does it mostly work, uh, it's actually kind of fucking good, right? Yeah, it is. And it is very much a an indie Japanese team mm -hmm. going at it and saying, you know what? Here's our game. Have that. It, and they put it out on Linux. They did. That's they did the Linux. Awesome. That's good on them. And I mean, it's it kind of feels like it's try, it hits the retro stuff, but it's not going hipster pixel, man. I mean, it, it's yeah. got its own look. It looks good. It's got a very nice hand-drawn mixed with 3D right. kind of aesthetic. And it's nice. It's like, uh, imagine uh, if your SNES had a uh, 1080 in it. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's probably where you'd be at the end of the day. But Pretty much. What is this yeah, thing they, If in? they get around to fixing the performance, uh, the frame pacing issues, that that would make this a very good game. I got to say, fourteen ninety nine. Mm, 
maybe uh, that's right in the middle there between the 20 pretentious indie wannabe bullshit and the 10 usual indie games if you can deal with the frame jerking for now that's a damn deal at 1999 oh, yeah. this would still be a good purchase i gotta say and uh it's been real we will um disappear and turn back into chairs for next week Bye.